Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I have some new and some old products and I thought we will try them together. The first thing is a bit of a mistake and it's a mistake that I told you not to make. So do you remember the iconic London prep set tan? This is shimmery spray that is also self tan for your face. I usually spray it on my face and on my chest when I'm not doing like full on fake tan. And as you can see, I'm, I'm not running out, but I don't want to be without it. So I went to repurchase it and this is what I got. And I haven't checked still if it was my mistake or their mistake. So be very careful because they are very similar in different bottles, but this is Prep Set Glow. This is so confusing, they should completely rebrand this because this is a setting spray, prepping spray, so you can use it before your makeup, you can use it to set your makeup. They say you can even use it before you go to bed because it's got very lovely skin ingredients. So this is like a shimmering face spray. Whereas this is shimmering too, but it's a self tan. So I thought instead of bothering with sending it back, I will try it and use it. So let's try it as a prep. Oh, and also this comes in two colors. This one is, no one knows, but this is the darker one, comes in two colors, so does this. And this is Prep Set Tan in color Glow. So there is original and glow. So this is glow, the darker one, but this is called Prep Set Glow. So it's very, very confusing. So please be very careful if you are buying either of those. So you have to shake it really well. Can you see it's got that beautiful pearl finish. Oh, nice spray. And this is not like glittery, too shimmery. Oh, it smells really nice. But it's supposed to give you glow and you need to wait for it to dry. I obviously have all my skincare on already. So I'm putting this on the top of my skincare. That's why I'm a bit red. Always after applying skincare, I get really red. Also, I have these little red spots and they, they've been there for an, for an hour, <laughs> for a while, but they get better or worse. And I wonder if it's from me using you know, that tretinoid because you're not supposed to get it anywhere near your nose or your mouth. And, you know, when you're spreading it, maybe some of it got on there and um, irritated my skin. So, okay, so this is almost dry. It does give you really, really lovely, healthy glow. I don't know if it helps with makeup or what but it is very pleasant. It doesn't have any color, even though it looks quite brown in this bottle, but I can't see the color. I see more color when I applied the tan one. So yeah, it's really nice and it smells gorgeous if you like fragrances. I think it has cucumber in it. Let's have a look. It is a shimmer spray that preps, hydrates and illuminates skin and fixes makeup. So you can fix your makeup with it. This spray has extracts of cucumber and chamomile, which will give you a standout gloss. And I suppose it's very calming as well. It, also, it is also rich in antioxidants, green tea and vitamin E. So, sounds nice. Okay, this is my old, old product that I've repurchased. This used to be my all-time favorite BB cream and I used it for ages and I'm talking at the beginning of my YouTube so I don't know eight years ago and this is the Misha perfect cover BB cream I love this thing it's more like a foundation it also has SPF of 42 
has great coverage I got mine in number 25 I always used to use in all these um, you know K-Beauty products because they usually very very light and don't come in many colors I always use number 25 or 27 27 is more of a when I'm properly tanned so let's see if I'm still loving it this product is fine to apply with your hands but I don't like it I hate getting my hands dirty so I'm going to apply it with BK Beauty 101 foundation brush so this is very very buildable from what I remember it's just beautiful even a little evens out your skin tone and it looks like skin but it does give you slight coverage well slight quite a good coverage for what I've applied I mean look at this tiny bit that I'm going to put on my forehead and on my nose because that's probably too much for my forehead is still as good as I remember it. I've been just looking for nice BB cream. So on the days that I don't want to use foundation, I could use that. I used to always top it off with the Laura Mercier mineral powder, which has been discontinued. And remember, we all, all love this powder. I might go a bit down my neck with it and this is where I then was searching for another mineral powder and I found the Lily Lolo so I am going to apply the Lily Lolo on the top of that I'm not putting it under my eyes because I have a couple of new products for under my eyes let me zoom you in so this is what it looks like with just a little amount it's quite glowy you can still see things through it but um, it does even it just feels like you have tinted moisturizer on but it it does give you quite a good coverage imagine if i put another layer on it would probably give me almost full coverage now I have few things from Beauty Pie so sorry because I'm sure if you are not a member of Beauty Pie you wouldn't want to pay full prices for, the, for it but I know a lot of you do subscribe to Beauty Pie and maybe you haven't used those products. So I have here, this is called Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector and I have it in light and medium, it's very very light. It almost looks like a pearly cream eyeshadow. The dark to tan, I think, is really dark. So that's supposed to brighten up your under eyes. And I also have the new Natasha Denona Concealer. And people are raving about it. High Glam is called. High Glam Concealer. This one is in YN9. So what I'm going to do, I think on one eye I will apply this first and then concealer and on the other eye just the concealer to see how the concealer really works. So I'm going to take a tiny bit and you need a tiny bit of this. That feels like too much. It's sort of pinkish, pinky beige, which should be quite good to cover your dark circles it's quite thick but emollient yeah that brightens up your eyes pretty nicely i suppose if you don't have much to cover you could just wear that without concealer it feels nice Okay, on this side I'm going to go with the concealer first. This concealer is so 
not thick. It's really nice and emollient, but it goes such a long way. So I am going to apply it with my finger. I add some more if I need it. That is a good color. I think I need a bit more. Maybe I use my sponge. Yeah, it does give good coverage. It looks nice. We will see. I need to put some on my... And now let me apply it on this side where I put that luminous thing from Beauty Pie. Correcta is quite good. I don't think I would wear it on its own. It's too luminous. It has not shimmer, luminosity. And I feel, you know, if you have like slight bags or, or wrinkles, anything shiny under your eyes will only emphasize it. Yeah, the concealer looks very nice. I like it, but we will see how it does. Does it crease like mad? You know, we, we will always get some creasing. Let's be real. If you are my age or older, you will get creases because we have those tiny wrinkles under the eye. There are some lucky women that don't, but I'm not that lucky. So you can't judge the concealer for seeing, still seeing your wrinkles. It's not a plastic surgery tool. It's just to cover and smooth out the color under your eyes, not to smooth out your wrinkles. I'm going to set, this is quite new. This is, um, so you know, Laura Mercier's translucent powder is iconic. Everybody uses it, but this is quite new, I think. And this is the translucent loose setting powder, powder ultra blur. So the normal one comes, I think, with a black top, but this has sort of very, very pale powder pink top. I use the Sonia G Detail Pro brush to set under my eyes because I use very, very minute amount. Just don't want the under eye to look too dry either but I like to mattify it because of what I just said. If you have any imperfections, if it's shiny, you will show more. And I always powder my brows to prepare them for the pencil. Oh, I didn't put any concealer on my nose. I always have to do that because my nose repels foundation. But I must say, this BB cream covered it quite well but let's give it extra coverage I do like this concealer and I like this color uh, this is yellow neutral YN9 it's not too yellow she does there is so many colors in that concealer correctors as well in pinks and peaches it's overwhelming i looked at at the swatches and i'm quite good with choosing the color of foundations and concealers online but with concealers it's much more difficult but this is very good but i have all sorts of colors of concealers and they all work so this is the eye with that um, illuminator, this is without. I don't know if now you can see any difference. But can you see these little lines? 
there is no way that things won't settle in there. But sometimes concealers look terrible. You have almost like lines all the way down. So this one is good. Okay, I am going to now set the rest of my face with the Lily Lolo in Cookie, the mineral powder. I do still wear my foundations without setting them, but um, it's been quite hot. And also, I think with this being a BB cream, I think once my own oils come through, I might get a bit shiny. But you know, I don't use this so much for coverage as more like a setting powder. Well, that looks very, very good. I'm going to go off and do my brows because I have to get really close to the mirror and I will be back. Okay, brows are done. I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe and always, always brush my hair with this gel, the Benefit 24 Hour Setting Gel. I've got, I think, maybe three videos of me doing brows different ways and it's still work in progress. My brows are very thin, over plucked, so I still haven't really found the best way of doing them. I'm back to the pencil because I find it the quickest and it is not quick, but it's the quickest. I've done it, you know, with those um, marker pen type of things and I was enjoying it for a while, but then they start drying out or start leaking and Choosing the color is a nightmare, so I'm just back to a pencil. Right now I'm using this, but I like L'Oreal pencils. I use um, Elf, I think, as well. Pencils, oh, and I really like the Delilah one as well, which is in Ash, I think. Uh, the color I like, and I like the top from Anastasia. So for me, it's more about the color, not the pencil. Okay. Bronzer. So this is another Beauty Pie product and this is a cream bronzer. Awesome bronze, gorgeous sunken bronzing cream, Goldilocks. So this will be like your famous Chanel bronzer. You know they are all made in the same factory but you pay a fraction of the price. And so this one is in Goldilocks. I think they only do two colors or there was only two colors on the website when I was buying it. When he said Goldilocks, I thought you would be more golden, but it's not. But I quite like it actually, because it gives you more of that sculpting effect. I also have Charlotte Tilbury's cream bronzer in medium, and it is very nice, but I think I prefer this one. Now you might think, Nisha, why didn't you apply bronzer before you apply this powder? So. These days, those cream bronzes are good enough to apply on the top of powder, but not if I set my face with a proper setting powder, lots of it. You saw me using the mineral one and I just really add tiny bit. What I find, maybe because I don't really have cheekbones, I have quite a flat face, whenever I use cream bronzer underneath any powder, I get all muddy and it goes everywhere. I don't know why that is, maybe I just don't know how to do it. I am not the biggest fan of cream products, but I really, really like this and it applies really nicely. So take some sort of synthetic brush. I've got here uh, BK Beauty 107. And I sort of stipple it because that's another problem. If you put it straight on the foundation, it might take your foundation off or mix with the foundation. So I don't go like this, I stipple it and just very gently. It's a really, really nice color, but I would say it's on a cooler side, so it's good for almost like contouring. 
I like it because it, you know, sometimes I think with Charlotte, maybe Charlotte is more emollient, I don't know. Charlotte Tilbury's one, you just get so much product on and whereas this seem to be nice and subtle. You can obviously build it up. Yeah, I think it's really nice. And you know, maybe this is good that I might at some point try the other one. Maybe it's more golden, but then sometimes your bronzer can be too orange and it looks very unnatural. So I think actually I like this color. And here I'm doing it more in like a sweeping motion, very gently towards my hairline. Yeah, I think it's very, very nice, very natural looking. And you know how I feel about cream products. I'm like on a fence and I've been buying some cream blushes. I like the Charlotte Tilbury one with the sponge, but again, that one, you can get so much out from from that tube that you know it's a bit too much so i've got another beauty pie one and this is astro pink it's called super chic and i think i might actually prefer them in pots because the liquid ones like i said you can squeeze too much and it's very difficult to take it away and i love using with this the sigma brush f53 air it's stippling brush like a dual fiber and i love it for powder blushes as well i think i've got three or four of these brushes so i just go like this it's a beautiful peachy pink with like a luminosity in it and you see I, i'm not getting too much so i can build it up it's a beautiful blush You always ask me about this mirror. It has lights on it as well. This is the Bello mirror from Easy Hold. Do you remember they've sent me some mirrors ages ago? I don't know if they are still available. I have it standing on like an acrylic box where I keep my glosses and lipsticks because to me mirrors are never tall enough. But I will have a look. You can get them on Amazon sometimes, I think. So I will have a look. I love this mirror. That is such a gorgeous blush. And it has that glow to it as well. Really, really happy with it. Okay, so that's the face finished. Let me zoom you in. So I think the BB cream looks really good. Can you see the bronzer sort of melted in and the blush looks really lovely. And you see these little bags that I have. I get them so often. I think is this leftover from four years ago filler or my skin is just drooping hate it so much anyway the concealer is nice you can see the little um lines just under my eye but that's normal i get that with every concealer that's why i always apply eyeshadow here it covers those little lines it has increased yes it's gone into some of these lines not that it's gone into it you can see the lines there is no way you can smooth them out with a concealer <laughs> Um, but yeah, it looks good and I, I can't see the difference with this luminator, luminator, illuminator under, the, under it and without it, I don't think I can see the difference. But with this concealer, this concealer is very expensive. How much is it? This concealer is £32. That is ridiculous. It's a nice concealer, but I would never buy it again. To me, even £22 is quite expensive. I have concealers that look the same 
from drugstore. Like, you know, I love the Milani one, I love, and I love the Remo one. So, I would not repurchase it. It's beautiful, the packaging is gorgeous, and yes, the concealer is nice, but it doesn't perform miracles. If it performed a miracle, got rid of all my lines, and made my under eye area look 30 years younger, I spent more than 32 pounds, but nothing wrong with it, just too expensive. Okay, I have um, one sort of new product for, for eyes, and this is the Pat McGrath Labs. It's one of those liquid eyeshadows. I've had it for a while, but you know, I don't think I've ever used it. Um, and this is in Luna Rose. Beautiful. I love the Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Mesmerize, but I don't really like the stuff in a pot. Because all you have to like, poke a brush in it or dig your finger in it. I like this with doll foot applicators. And this one is really lovely. It's like a rosy pink. So I'm going to, I'm just going to do something really simple. I will use with it my probably first Charlotte Tilbury quad that I've ever bought, which is the original Pillow Talk. You know, now I really love the Pillow Talk Dreams, but I thought as I'm using something very old from the past, I will use the original Pillow Talk, which I'm sure was my first quad that I bought. So this is the original pillow talk. It's very light. I often use it just for like an everyday no makeup makeup. Although my no makeup makeup is probably your party makeup. Okay, so I am going to apply this first on my lid. Just on my mobile lid. It is lovely, but I think the Charlotte Tilbury one, Eyes to Mesmerize, is probably a bit more saturated. This one is a bit thinner, but that is because it's in like this, more of a liquid than cream. But that's so pretty, really, really subtle. And I suppose you can build it up. What I like as well with these, that I can go with the edge of it here in the corner. That is really pretty. I might get some other colours. I'm going to take Rifa 15 and I will go to that pink one. And just apply it above my crease. and blend it out. I sometimes just do this. Just cream eyeshadow, this above my crease, some underneath and that's it. And just mascara. I don't do anything elaborate for every day. Rifa 14, I'm going to take this darker brown and just maybe go right in my crease to darken it because this palette is quite light you don't have to be so precise you know with the blending it just all melts together Natasha Denona 11 again that darker brown I might just shade a bit this outer V. Then I will put this darker brown on a lower lash line. Do you know my eyeshadow looks when I film? are never as good and nicely blended as when I do it 
quietly by myself <laughs> upstairs I think what it is because you know my eyesight is not so good and my mirror is like arm length away from me because I don't want it here so it blocks your view and I think I can't see properly what I'm doing <laughs> rough blend and that's it and just mascara don't have any new mascaras I am still boring with the Catrice Glam and Doe Sculpt and Volume and I top it off with the Anastasia Lash Brag okay so that's my eyes done I really really like this actually what I didn't do I was going to apply this shimmering eyeshadow on the top of that and now I've got mascara on this shimmering eyeshadow this darker one is not that good in uh, it's more like a topper but if you put it on the top of that cream eyeshadow yeah it looks really really lovely that's what I was going to do right so I love that that's my summer eye now I'm really excited about these so I have three of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip I have never ever tried any of those Maracuja lip products from from Tarte partly because I think they are very expensive for what they are so I think they are $24 each or I think £22 so I thought that's quite expensive for a balm but what do they say about it um, this is all-in-one vegan vegan balm gloss color and hydrating treatment plumps up the lips smooths the look of lines maracuja drenches lips in moisture 10 plus antioxidant rich fruits which smooth and nourish mirror shine feels comfortable never sticky and with this one you click it okay so the reason I have three is because I really really wanted to try them I thought 22 pounds for a balm but I remembered the QVC sales tart so I went on to QVC and they did this bundle of three and I quite like the look of the colors so what do I have here well I'll be damned if I can see it moon now I have to go and get my glasses oh it wasn't moon it was bloom <laughs> so there is bloom let, let me swatch them so you just click once for if you just want like a balmy look and you can click twice if you want more color so they have quite nice color very sheer so this is bloom lovely pink then peony which is a bit more mauve, mauve pink Peony is the one above. Wow, they look very, very shiny and glass like. And the last one is Lily, which is a bit more beige. This one up here. So, Bloom, Peony and lily lovely colors so i paid for three of them 37 pounds which i was fine with because that's even less than if i bought two so i will leave you the link to that one at qvc it's a good idea to look at qvc because they do those bundles don't they right so i'm really excited which one shall i use i think i might lose, use peony I'm impressed with the feel on my hand and how glassy they look but now I want to know is this gloss only in here because that's where you can see it or is there any more there because if it's just this 
the price is ridiculous. Feels so good. It does give you color. It feels thick and rich. Not very sticky. Yeah, your your hair would stick to it, but not like the glue sticky, you know? More creamy but thick. So it is like a balm with gloss and some colour. Mmm, and it smells gorgeous. It's supposed to have all natural ingredients. I love it. That is so good. But I cannot get over the price of it. Let me know if you use them, if you like them. What about all the other tart products because they do this maracuja other products as well and also do you know of a tube for that because i don't i've had balms with color in it but like i used to like the birds bees one they had color in it but it wasn't that glossy and and rich Can you see how that, it tastes like glass. Oh, I love them. Really, really like it. But yeah, the price is ridiculous. Like I said, the 37 for three, I don't mind so much, but I don't think I go and pay 22 pounds for just that. You can get a proper lipstick for that. And I suppose, you could put a lipstick under it and use this as a gloss. It's gorgeous. I love them. The feel of it, the smell is nice. What if I spray this now on the top of it? Let's have a look. I love the smell of this as well. Oh, I'm looking a bit wet now. I haven't brought my fan to fan myself so this would be nice if you're feeling a bit dry powdery to apply that yeah it made me look more more glossy but i quite like that glossy it's not too you know sometimes with these sprays the finishing sprays they're supposed to give you back glow sometimes it looks sweaty more than anything but this is nice well i like it then i still have to repurchase this but but i'm glad i kept it oh yeah it's really nice okay my lovely so this is all that i've got to show you from my old and new i'm so happy that i repurchase this because i really really love it and for the summer it's got very high spf as well everything is lovely i'm very happy with this actually and i definitely now know i prefer it to charlotte tilbury and the price let me tell you the price so charlotte tilbury's cream bronzer is 44 pounds the chanel one original which this is a dupe for it's not a dupe, it's probably the same thing, made in the same laboratory. It's 46 pounds. And the beauty pie, if you are a member, is 16 pounds 50. Lovely, and I wonder how much the blush was from beauty pie. The blush is 12 pounds 50. If you're not a member, it's 30 pounds, and the bronzer is 40 pounds if you're not a member. So, yeah so yes i'm loving the bronzer and the blush in fact i liked everything love this for my eyes and the concealer like i said lovely concealer but for the price it's not better than my favorite drugstore concealer so i might leave you actually a link to 
my favorite concealers for mature under eyes because I have quite a few there and there are some high-end and drugstore ones as well. Okay, my lovelies, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.